And welcome back. It's about 9.31 right now. Today for Katie's Science Lab, we're learning how to make bird feeders out of milk jugs. So David and Katie are in the studio to show us just in time for Earth Day tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Yes, Earth Day tomorrow. Very excited. Sarah Spivey's going to talk more about Earth Day. We are just all Earth Day all the time. And I'm actually reading to a class tomorrow, Mrs. Ramos's class at Field Elementary. I'm going to read to them tomorrow for Earth Day. And she actually gave me the idea for this experiment or activity. It's kind of more of an activity. You know, I'm going to um, ask, what are you reading? Um, Have you decided yet? She dropped off the book, and now I don't, now I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to do with Don't worry, Miss. She'll get it. She'll she's got all afternoon I'll practice. to read through it and make sure she's got it. I'll right. practice. But it's she gave me the teacher. <laughs> she gave me this idea. Her class they are making these bird feeders out of milk jugs. And of course the idea is that you won't just throw your milk jug away when you're done with it. You can make something out of it, reuse it and help cut down on waste. So you will need a plastic milk jug. You'll need some scissors, box cutters, wire cutters. So this does require some adult supervision, wire or rope to make the, the hanging part of your, of your bird feeder here. You'll need some bird seed and things to decorate the bird feeder with David. Ooh, um, this looks like fun. Yes. First off, we have box cutters and scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Sharp things. So I already did mine, David. So this is what you're this is what you're aiming for. Okay, so you can tell me what I'm supposed to be. This is yours. So you're going to want to cut out, you know, where the birds can sit, and then you're going to, we're gonna put the bird seed down here. So you wanna cut out little little windows That's for your little, birds. Little windows for the birds? Yes. I'm gonna take these glasses. Okay. You right. don't want to go too low because, okay, remember you got to have your mom or your dad around when you. Yeah, I was doing this last night and it was, it was, it can get, it can get out of hand. So Dave, while David's doing that, um, I was able to find this wire at Home Depot, but you could also use rope. That would be something you could use to make the, the hanging part. So I'm going to, I'll help you out, David, while you're doing that, I'm going to help cut your wire. There's, I'm sure, I don't have traditional wire cutters, so my husband was like, you just use these. <laughs> and I can imagine that traditional wire cutters would probably work a little bit better, but I was able to kind of make an indention here and then use the scissors to cut the rest yeah. of it. How's it going, David? Well, that's oh, a good, good trick. How about yeah. that? And that helps you cut a piece of it off. And you really don't need, you don't need very much. <laughs> good job. So that would probably be sturdier than a string though, right? I, I, I think so. If you had some thicker rope, it would probably be okay. Look but this is oh, also... Oh, so milk in it, too. All right. Oh, sorry. I thought I cleaned it out better. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, I got I, a poke a hole in there, Yeah, right? so then once you have your, your well, side parts cut thing. out... Yeah, these box cutters, man. So then you'll poke two holes at the top here to put the wire in. Right and this is slightly bendable wire. I think you could, even at, oh, might have been. gosh, um, Michael's or what's your favorite store, Justin Hobby Lobby? You could find some <laughs> bendable, <laughs> wow. he talks about his love of Hobby Lobby. You could find some wire that's, this is fairly easy to bend, but I think craft okay. wire would be better. So David, then you're gonna put your wire in. Okay. And this, see, maybe that was a little too much. It just depends on where you're gonna hang it, what branch you're gonna hang right, it on, or where you're gonna hang it, how much room you need. Yeah, cool. And then you could get in there and, and make little, like twist the wire up so that it doesn't so come out, but that can be done at any time. And then the fun part for the kiddos is that you can decorate. So I haven't decorated ours yet. I'm gonna decorate mine before reading to Mrs. Ramos's class tomorrow, but you can paint. You can do glitter, you can do stickers. I think it'd be cool to make it look like the earth. That's kind of a big understanding. Earth Day. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good job. And then we'll put our bird seed in. I didn't realize this was the hot, hot pepper wild bird food. Oh. And it says you should avoid contact with skin. Oh. Really? So. Okay. Love. Yeah. Good for the birds, not good for your skin. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not an expert on bird food, so you I didn't realize that. this was so spicy. But uh, pick up some some bird food, some seed okay. for for the birdies yeah, and enjoy. That's cool. Bird. You got the spicy oh. bird feed for South Texas. There you go. Very appropriate. Exactly. <laughs> so enjoy your new bird that's feeder. Cool. That's, that is that's, awesome. That's and have fun reading to the class tomorrow. Thank you. And happy Earth Day, everyone. Yes. Happy Earth Day. Thanks, guys. And David, I'll see you in a moment. Wardrobe change. I'll go hang my bird feeder in the tree outside. <laughs>